Hi everybody, welcome back to Elby's Rockin' Readers. Today we are going to read Herd of Cows, Flock of Sheep by Rick Walton and illustrated by Julie Olson. Teachers, um, quick reminder, this is the interactive reading, so if you do not have the Herd of Cows read-along sheet in front of the students, then you will need to go back to my YouTube channel and click on the regular read aloud for this book. All right, kids, let's go ahead and look at question number one. It says, what is a collective noun? So if we look at the very first page of this book, it says a collective noun is a word that describes a group of nouns. So I will give you a couple seconds to answer number one. What is a collective noun? Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our book, Herd of Cows, Flock of Sheep. The rain would be coming soon, so Farmer Bob worked day and night and day and night to harvest his crops. A little rain would be good for his plants, but too much could destroy them, and Farmer Bob guessed there might be too much rain. Finally, the corn, the potatoes, the beans, the tomatoes, all were safe in the barn, stored up high where they'd stay dry. He'd take them to the market later, but first, he had something important to do. Sleep. He trudged into his little house by the river, took off his boots, put on his pajamas and his sleep mask, and dropped into bed. He was so tired, he hadn't slept in days. Farmer Bob had guessed right. That night the rain came, a lot of it. It made the river rise. It rose slowly up the steps and into Farmer Bob's house. It rose so high that it pushed open the double doors in Farmer Bob's bedroom, picked up his bed, and floated it right outside. And Farmer Bob didn't notice a thing because he was so tired and so sound asleep. In the morning, far down river from Farmer Bob's house, a flock of sheep grazed. So let's take a look now at number two. In the morning, for down river from Farmer Bob's house, a blank of sheep grazed. So let me read this line again. In the morning, far down river from Farmer Bob's house, a flock of sheep grazed. I'll give you a second to fill in the answer for number two, a blank of sheep grazed. What is the collective noun? And let's look at number three. Grazed is a hard word. What do you think grazed means? Do you think it means eat or sleep? Okay, let's continue reading. One look up from his chewing and saw a most unusual sight. Bah, she said. The other sheep looked. Ba 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 ba! They ran to the river and called out to Farmer Bob. Ba ba ba! Farmer Bob stirred, but he was still so tired. Half asleep, he shouted, "Flock of sheep, quiet! I'm tired. I need my sleep." A herd of cows heard the sheep and came to see what was happening. They joined the sheep in trying to warn Farmer Bob. Moo moo moo! Ba moo! Ba ba moo! Farmer Bob hollered back, Herd of cows, flock of sheep, quiet! I'm tired! I need my sleep! Okay guys, let's look at question number four. A blank of cows heard the sheep and came to see what was happening. So what do we call a group of cows? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, let's keep reading. A pack of dogs looking for some fun followed the noise and discovered the floating farmer. They joined the hullabaloo. Arf, 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 moo, arf, ba, 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 moo, arf. Oh, won't they just leave me alone, said Farmer Bob to himself, and he shouted, Pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep, quiet, I'm tired, I mean my sleep. 
Okay guys, number five. A blink of dogs looking for some fun followed the noise and discovered the floating farmer. Hmm, what do we call a group of dogs? I'll give you a couple of seconds to answer. Okay, number six. We have a really funny word on this page. It says, what do you think hullabaloo means? So it says, they joined the hullabaloo. What do you think that means? That's a very silly word. Do you think it might mean distraction or maybe a noisy commotion? Okay, let's keep reading. A drove of pigs rooting in a field went to investigate. What was that? A sleeping farmer floating down the river? Didn't he know what was at the end of the river? Oink, oink, oink. Moo, moo, moo. Ba, moo. Arf, oink. Arf, oink, moo. The animals today just have no manners, said Farmer Bob to himself. He shouted. Drove of pigs, pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep. Quiet! I'm tired. I need my sleep. All right, guys, let's take a look at number seven. A blink of pigs rooting in a field went to investigate. This one's kind of strange. What do we call a group of pigs? So remember, our first line says, a drove of pigs rooting in a field went to investigate. I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay, let's keep reading. An army of frogs hunting flies by the river saw Farmer Bob. Oh no, he was floating toward... Ribbit, ribbit, moo, moo, oink, arf, ba, moo. Ribbit, ribbit, moo, ba, arf. How rude, said Farmer Bob. Army of frogs, drove of pigs, pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep. Quiet, I'm tired, I need my sleep. All right, guys, let's take a look at number eight. A blink of frogs hunting flies by the river saw Farmer Bob. What do we call a group of frogs? I'll give you a couple seconds to fill in the answer. Okay, let's keep going. The animals started to panic. The farmer was still floating and there wasn't much time left. They sent out a general, all purpose, come quick, it's an emergency alarm, and they were quickly joined by creatures of all kinds. The pigs outlined a plan and everyone sprang into action. A colony of beavers raced down river and began chewing down trees. Splash! Into the river the trees fell. A school of fish tried to push them together into a dam, but it wasn't working. The trees just floated away too quickly. So much for plan A. The pigs quickly outlined plan B. A nest of mice brought their lifetime collection of rope and string, which a gaggle of geese carried to the bed and tied around the bedposts. Then the geese took the string in their bills and tried to fly, but no, the bed was too heavy to lift. On to plan C, and time was running out. A cloud of gnats flew into the farmer and up his nose while a swarm of bees began to sting the farmer's toes. Farmer Bob swatted and kicked. Bothersome bugs, he muttered. Must have left the window open. The gnats and bees were not stopped. They kept flying up his nose. They kept stinging his toes. Finally, Farmer Bob couldn't take it anymore. He flipped off his sleep mask and shouted, That's enough! I'm going to get you, pesky! Yipes! Farmer Bob finally realized where he was. Help me! Help me! I can't swim! The rest of Plan C then kicked in. A herd of horses formed a line. A nest of snakes joined in. The last snake crawled into onto the bed, wrapped himself around Farmer Bob's leg, and pulled him into the river. Nay, 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 said the horses as they pulled. The snakes tightened, and slowly together, they dragged Farmer Bob from the river, just as his bed went over a waterfall. On the riverbank, while a clouder of cats kept him warm and a rafter of turkeys fanned him dry, the pigs jumped on Farmer Bob's belly to push out all of the river water. 
<coughs> a gush of water came out of Farmer Bob's mouth. The pigs hopped off, and Farmer Bob sat up. Thank you, thank you. You saved my life, you wonderful animals. And bugs, he added when he saw the gnats and bees. And to show his gratitude after he dry and cleaned his soggy house, Farmer Bob issued an invitation. Nest of mice, army of frogs, drove of pigs, pack of dogs, herd of cows, flock of sheep, and other friends who found me asleep and saved my life. Bug, bird, and beast, come to my place for a feast. Oh yes, school of fish, you're invited too. All right guys, take a look at number nine. This one has a lot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line from the collective noun to the noun that it goes with. So we're gonna use this page to really help us on this part. So if we have a nest of what? So take a look, a nest of dogs, a nest of pigs, a nest of cows, a nest of mice, a nest of frogs, or a nest of sheep. Okay, our next one is army. So army of dogs, army of pigs, army of cows, army of mice, army of frogs, or army of sheep. Okay, we're gonna do one more together and you're gonna do the last three on your own. So drove, drove of dogs, drove of pigs, drove of cows, drove of mice, drove of frogs, or drove of sheep. Okay, I'm gonna have you do the last three on your own. I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay, let's keep reading. And they all came. Farmer Bob got out his good set of china and served stacks of pancakes, messes of grits, bunches of bananas, and all the corn and potatoes and beans and tomatoes his friends could eat. Okay, let's look at our last question, number 10. What are three things that Farmer Bob served his, the animals at dinner? So keep in mind, we're doing collective nouns so I do not want you to write down the corn, potatoes, beans, and tomatoes. Don't do those. Look at the three that Farmer Bob served that have a collective noun. So let me read it one more time. And they all came. Farmer Bob got out his good set of china and served stacks of pancakes, messes of grits, bunches of bananas, and all the corn and potatoes and beans and tomatoes his friends could eat. So one more time, let me remind you, we are not writing down corn, potatoes, beans, tomatoes. I'll give you a couple seconds to fill those in. Okay, last page. And when they finally left full and happy, Farmer Bob went out and bought a new bed, which he put in his new bedroom on the second floor, and went to sleep. The end. Thank you so much for joining us at LB's Rock and Readers. See you next time.